Finding Nemo, the ghost light fish. Have a great day, Nemo, Marlin the clownfish said as he hugged his son goodbye. He and Dory, a regal blue tangfish, were dropping Nemo off at school. I will, Dad, said Nemo, just as soon as you let go. Marlin realized he was still hugging his son. Oh, right, he said with a chuckle, letting Nemo go. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dory, Nemo called as he swam off to join his classmates and their teacher, Mr. Ray. Nemo loved school, and so did his friends, Tad the long-nosed butterfly fish, Pearl the octopus, and Sheldon the seahorse. How could they not when Mr. Ray made everything so much fun? Mr. Ray took his students exploring all over the reef. Every day, Nemo and his classmates got an up-close look at different kinds of sea life. That day, Mr. Ray was taking them to a clearing on the ocean floor. Okay, explorers, Mr. Ray said when the class arrived. Now it's time to do a little searching on your own. Let's see if each of you can find a shell. Then we'll identify them together. The students fanned out. Nemo searched in the shadows of some coral. Pearl peeked into a bit of algae. Sheldon dug in the sand. Tad was the first of Nemo's friends to find something. Hey, guys, he cried. Look at this. Nemo, Pearl, and Sheldon swam over to their friend. They stared in wonder at the gleaming white shell Tad held in his fin. Cool, said Sheldon. It's so pretty, said Pearl. Where did you find it? Tad pointed to a cave. In there, he said. Hey, maybe there are more, he added, suddenly darting inside. Yeah, maybe, said Pearl, following him. I want to find one, too. Me too, cried Sheldon, taking off after the pair. Then he paused and turned to Nemo. Are you coming? he asked. Nah, you guys go on, Nemo said. He wanted to find a shell that was different from everyone else's. Only a few minutes passed before Nemo heard an odd noise. He looked up and saw Sheldon, Tad, and Pearl bolting out of the cave at full speed. What's the matter? Nemo asked. Is it a barracuda? An eel? Sheldon shook his head. His eyes were big. His tail was quivering in fright. No, w -w worse, he said. It's a g -g ghost fish. No way, Nemo replied. Then he noticed Tad's fin was empty. Where's your shell? he asked. Aw, shucks, Tad sighed. I was going to give it to my mom. Bet I dropped it in the cave. But I'm not going back in there. Not with that ghost fish on the loose. Don't worry, Nemo told Tad. I'll find your shell for you. Nemo swam bravely into the cave. See, he said to himself, nothing to be afraid of here. But just then, Nemo froze. On the cave wall next to him was a huge fish-shaped shadow. Nemo took a deep breath. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Ghostfish, or is it Ms. Ghostfish, he called. A ghostfish, a tiny voice said nervously. Where? Don't let it get me. Hmm, the ghostfish didn't sound very scary, thought Nemo. Nemo swam closer to the shadow. There, cowering behind a rock, was a little fish, glowing softly. The ghostfish wasn't a ghostfish at all. It was just a little glow-in-the-dark fish who had shined on a piece of coral and made the spooky shadow. Oh, hi, Nemo called. He wasn't afraid anymore. But the little glowing fish was. It darted behind another rock. Then, timidly, it peeked out. Don't be afraid, Nemo said. I'm just a little fish, like you. My name's Nemo. What's yours? Nemo asked the little fish. Eddie he cautiously replied. You mean there's no ghost fish? Nemo chuckled. I thought you were the ghost fish, he said. Then he explained the whole story. By the way, said Nemo, how do you glow like that? Eddie shrugged. I just do, he said. My whole family does. Nemo thought of someone who would know more about Eddie's glow, Mr. Ray. Would you like to come out and meet my teacher and my friends? Nemo asked Eddie. Okay, said the little fish. And so they swam out of the cave together.
laughing at the funny way they'd met. Outside, Nemo rejoined his class. Sorry I didn't find your shell, he said to Tad. But I did find your ghost fish. Then Nemo and Eddie told their story. Soon the ghost fish was forgotten. Everyone wanted to know about Eddie instead. Can you glow different colors? Pearl asked Eddie. How come the water doesn't put out your light? Asked Tad. Nemo wanted to know what made Eddie glow. Luckily, Mr. Ray knew the answer to that. See these patches on Eddie's jaws? Said Mr. Ray. Inside them are teeny tiny glow-in-the-dark organisms. When you see Eddie glow, you're really seeing those organisms glowing. If you think that's cool, said Eddie, you should see the rest of my family. Eddie led the whole class into the cave to show them his glow-in-the-dark world, including his family. Nemo thought it was one of the most amazing things he'd ever seen. But there was still one thing on his mind. Mr. Ray, Nemo whispered to his teacher, I didn't finish the assignment. I mean, I didn't find a shell. Mr. Ray laughed. That's okay, Nemo, he replied. I'd say you still get an A in exploring for today.